applesauce. And maybe it's seated on your shins. Close your eyes. And begin to tune in to body and breath. Deep, slow sips of air. Down the midline of your body. Straight into the low belly. Holding at the top for a little bit each time. Slow, intentional exhale back out through the nose. It's at this time of class that we let the world melt away for a little bit. And we focus on meeting ourselves. by distractions, our to-do list, the needs of our family and our friends, our professional lives. So what you've done today by showing up for class is signed up for 30 minutes. dedicating this practice to someone or something that brings light into your life today. As you breathe, I want you to imagine the feeling attached to that person, those interactions. Pull that feeling out in front of you. And on your next inhale, drink it in. Pull it into your body like a ball of light. And allow it to move. Fill your body with that feeling. when are we truer to ourselves than in those moments we allow ourselves to experience joy, energy, we emerge. The truth of us. We can live these feelings in the body whenever we want to. Exhale, keeping the heart open, draw the hands to the heart and pray. Take one last moment before we begin our flow. Pull in that feeling to honor that feeling. And to dedicate the next 30 minutes to being present to it. Inhale, press the hands up overhead. Metaphorical gaze follows. You don't have to open the eyes. And as you exhale, allow the left hand to come down to the mat as you reach the right fingertips over. Keep that.
that top shoulder peel open, the heart open, gaze come to the fingertips. If you have that range of motion, the forearm collapses down. Inhale, rise up off of that bottom facing hand, lift and exhale to the other side. Keep the sit bones connected. As you stretch into the side body, open that shoulder, peel it up and open to stack the shoulders. Breathe. Straighten that bottom arm, lift up. And exhale, roll the wrists down. We're gonna come up over the knees to the front of our mat. Placing the hands underneath the shoulders, the knees under the hips, find a little bit of mobility in the spine. Let yourself feel slinky, strange, but in tune with whatever it is that you need here. When you're ready, find stillness. Pull your belly button into your spine, take a deep sip of air through the nose, and as you exhale, pull the tailbone underneath of you, round the spine, and inhale, allow the belly to drop as the heart and tailbone rise as one cow pose. Exhale into cat, lift the spine up, tuck the tailbone, breath fully releases. And inhale, belly drops, heart and tailbone rise. One more round to the beat of your own breath. One breath of movements. Explore any areas where there might be tension. Listen to your body. And then go ahead and stack for neutral. Flipping the toes down, take a deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, begin to straighten through the legs, sending your heart towards your upper thighs. Fingertips spread wide little micro bend in the knees. You can begin to pedal out the feet, releasing one heel and then the other. Staying nice and strong through that upper body like there's a line being drawn from the top of your head as it gazes between the hands to the base of your tailbone. Find stillness. Lift through the tailbone, press the heart towards the upper thighs. As you inhale, go ahead and lift the left heel up towards the sky, keeping the pinky toe anchored down into the mat, and exhale, set it down. Hip width apart, inhale, lift the right heel, pinky toe square, exhale, set it down. Left heel rises, exhale, set it down. Right heel rises. Exhale, center down. Come on to the tiptoes, bend the knees, and on your exhale, hop, step, or float to the front of your mat. Nasana, forward fold. Heel, toe the feet. A little bit more than hip width apart. Release the belly onto the upper thighs. And find equilibrium between all four corners of the feet. Little rock. Inhale, lift the fingertips up to your shins. Heart gazes forward to the front of your mat. And exhale, bend down. Take the hands, if you feel comfortable here, and weave them underneath the feet. So the toe comes to the crease of the wrist, bending through the knees and finding that equilibrium once more. Head, neck, and shoulders fully relaxed. Little rock if that feels good. Slowly release, one hand at a time, forward fold. And inhale, circle sweep, leading with the heart all the way up. Palms come together, exhale them to the heart. Inhale, lift the hands up. And exhale, fold over. 
Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips drag up the shins, heart glances forward and exhale, fold. Hands come down, stepping back to plank, hold here. If you need to modify on the shins, please feel free to do so. Keep the shoulders back tight through, like you're trying to pinch a pencil between the shoulder blades. Heart gazes forward. Exhale the shins down. Exhale, keeping the elbows tight into the body. Release the belly down. Release the tops of the feet. And inhale, feel the heart all the way up, baby cobra. Use your back, use your core. Exhale, release. Press your weight back. Flip the toes and the tailbone up. Downward facing dog. Come on to the tiptoes, bend the knees. Exhale, hop, step or float to the front of your mat, Utanasana. Inhale, circle sweep. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come down, step or hop back to plank. Exhale, down through chaturanga, floating, tops of the thighs, flipping onto the tops of the feet, lift the heart, upward facing dog. Exhale, flip the toes and the tailbone back. Downward facing dog. Come on to the tiptoes, bend the knees. Exhale, hop, step, or float. Inhale, circle sweep. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift, heart reaches forward. Exhale, dive down, plant the hands. Hop or sit back to plank. Exhale, through chaturanga. Flip the toes, lift the heart. Exhale, flip the toes and the tailbone back. Come on to the tiptoes, bend the knees. Exhale, hop, step, or float to the front of your mat, sealing the legs together now. And inhale, lift the heart for chair. Keep the weight in the heels. You don't want any rounding. You want to find that little tuck. Squeeze the thighs together. Let the shoulders come away from the ears. Inhale, rise to mountain, and exhale, sit back to chair. Inhale, rise, and exhale, sink it back, hold. Big squeeze, weight in the heels. Inhale, rise to mountain, circle sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, come down and move through one sun salutation. Beat of your own breath. One breath per movement. Meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, left, lift the left heel up. Square the pinky toe, square the hips. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, right. Exhale, set down. One more time each side. One breath per movement. Nice and strong through the glutes. Straight back. Find downward facing dog. Come on to the tiptoes. Bend the knees. Exhale, hop, step, or float forward. Inhale, circle, sweep all the way up. Exhale, the hands to the heart. We're gonna work with some balance here. So rooting into the right foot, we're gonna go ahead and take the left, and we're going to lift the knee out in front of us, flexing the toes, trying to spread them apart. Find a place on the floor to gain. If you need a little bit of extra balance help. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, switch sides. Root into all four corners of the bottom foot. Spread the toes on the flex foot. Continue to breathe. Set it down. Switch sides. This time we're going to go ahead and stack into a figure four. So you can stay here, working through the hip, or if you'd like to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can begin to take the weight into that back heel. 
and breathe into the hips. Heart stays lifted, grounding through all four corners of that bottom foot and making sure that that knee tracks out. Inhale, come up. Set the foot down. Switching sides, ground into that bottom foot, all four corners. Set yourself up for success. And when you're ready, stack into that four. You take it nice and slow. If you'd like to progress whenever you're ready, keep the weight into that back heel. Keep flexed through all the toes. You should feel the stretch in the side of that right hip. Heart stays lifted, challenging your balance. Breathe. Inhale, stand. Let it go. Interlace all but your pointer finger and thumb. Grow nice and tall. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold over the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come down. Take the hands down, step back to plank. And move through one sun salutation. Nice and slow to the beat of your own breath. Meeting whenever you're ready in downward facing dog. Inhale, the left heel rises, pinky toe stays grounded. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, right. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, left. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, right. Exhale, set it down. Inhale the left, now the toe points, open the hip, and exhale, step it through between the hands for a low lunge. Square the hips, and inhale, and we're gonna rise up to high lunge. As we exhale, we're gonna go ahead and drop that back knee and open through the hands, squeezing the, tail, or the shoulder blades together. And exhale, and inhale. Two more times. Make sure that top knee doesn't track over the toe. Inhale, lift. We're gonna go ahead and fly forward now. So finding a nice flat back. The knee, front knee stacks over the toe. Breathing here. Keep the heart open, gazing towards that front toe. And inhale, lift. Exhale, come to prayer. We're gonna walk that back toe in. And as you feel ready, we're going to lift into warrior three. So here, the goal is to nice and slowly hinge through the heart so that it's aiming at the ground below. Stable through that bottom leg. If you need to tap down, you can. You can even fly the hands behind you. Come back to center. Inhale, lift the hands. And exhale, come down to low lunge. Stepping back to downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet. Find stillness. Right heel lifts. Exhale, set it down. Left heel lifts. Exhale, set it down. Right heel lifts. Exhale, set it down. Other side. Exhale, set it down. This time the right toe lifts, points forward, and exhale, pull it through between the hands, low lunge. Setting up for high lunge, so stack that front knee over the toe, square the hips, and inhale, lift all the way up. Five. 
find your setting, find your stability. And as you exhale, you're gonna come down, using the shoulders, inhale, lift. So nice flat line, stacking that knee over the toe, energy through your fingertips as they float back, heart gazes up and open. through all four corners of that standing leg. I'm going to barely hinge at the hips, nice and slow, for warrior three. Trying to make that chest parallel to the ground below us. If you need to tap down, you can. You can fly the hands. Do what feels good for you. Slowly hinge back. Inhale, lift your hands. And exhale, come down for a low lunge. Stepping back to downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet. And then slowly release your shins down. And come into a seated position, rolling over the hips. They say out nice and wide here. Sitting up tall. Yeah, I know right where you are. Deep breath in. Flex through the feet. And slowly begin to walk the hands forward. Stretching through those inner thighs. All your days back inside. Deep breaths. Your heart aims up. And then we fold the two centimeters. No bouncing. Nothing too intense. We got the body warm and now it's time to slow things down a little bit. Slowly walk the heart up. We're going to take that right foot in, gazing at that left foot and lift the hands. And exhale, begin to hinge at the hips. You can hold the toe, you can hold the calf, the ankle, wherever you can get. Trying to keep that flat back, that little baby hand. Slow 
only as you are able without pulling too hard. You're going to aim the heart at those stacked knees. Keep your sit bones grounded so only go as far as you can go without lifting the pelvis. Please feel free to do so. There's a pulling in and there's a letting go and they happen simultaneously. So as you breathe, what are you letting go of in order to surrender to that joy? On your inhale, you'll pull it in. And on your exhale, you'll let something go. Slowly walk the hands back, the heart up. Go ahead and find yourself making your way down into final Shavasana, allowing the back to release.
from that deep inhale in through your nose. Holding at the top for a little longer than what feels comfortable. When you're ready, let it go. You can return to your natural rhythmic breath. Begin to awaken the body, give a little wiggle in the fingers, your toes, shift the shoulders. Do what feels good. And as you feel ready and as you feel led, you can make your way into a seated position for final salutation. Thank you for showing up to class today for yourself as much as you did for me. I appreciate your presence. We have one, two, two last days together next week. So if there's flows that you would like to work through, please send me your suggestions. Feel free to bring friends if you're here in person. We have some open spots available on the floor. And then registration for our next session is currently open on seowellbeingcenter.com. Thank you for coming. And I'm going to send you back off into this day with one last namaste. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.